endless $26.5 billion merger plan of T-Mobile and Sprint faces another legal hurdle as the two companies will now make the case for the deal's approval in front of a group of state's attorneys general today. A number of states have banded together to oppose the merger, arguing that it would be anti-competitive for consumers. And of course, another big element at stake here is the future of 5G technology, because the carriers have claimed that their merger would help accelerate development of 5G in the U.S., We'll see how that argument goes over. And of course, it's worth mentioning here that the DOJ already provisionally approved of this, but the states are allowed to move forward and that has to be heard before it can finally, finally, finally <laughs> be done. Well, as you mentioned, the federal government has already given this the blessing. There have been a number of conditions as part of that, right? For example, divesting the uh, Boost Mobile part of mm -hmm. the business as a separate entity, which I don't think has apparently calmed a lot of the uh, attorneys general. No. But I think what we see is that this is a pretty substantial risk, right? I mean, you look at the stock of Sprint right now. I think it was down, what, 7%? We just flashed the ticker just now. I mean, that is pretty, yeah, over uh, over 7% yeah, over the past five days, days uh, th over 3% today. So this is definitely material. This is something that people are watching very closely. Uh, and I think it just speaks to the idea that, look, especially in the field of telecom, these types of mergers do not happen mm -hmm. on day one. So when you look at the pricing risk on the day of an announcement like this, when T-Mobile and Sprint announced this, I don't even remember how long ago it was. Well, this one has that was happened by day 600. Exactly. <laughs> Wasn't there one just several years ago? I don't even remember now. All these years kind of start to blend together where two of the telecom companies tried to get together and that yeah, totally got shut and, down. Um, Was it AT&T and T-Mobile? I don't know. Take me back. but Right. I don't remember exactly what. But I mean, you know, in the telecom space, there's always yeah. these types yes. of mergers. But the scale is something that I think has always been a concern. I mean, this is not a telecom space where you have 10 or 15 different players that are mm -hmm. conglomerating all of a sudden. There's really only, you can count them on one hand, right? And one is our well, parent, company, parent company, and we should Verizon. also point that out. Um, right. And then, yeah, you have AT&T, and then these are, you know, number three and four. But they're still a lot smaller than number one and number two. And I, 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 I think once they combine, they'll be a small yeah. number three. But people say, well, if they combine, then there's really no number four. And I think the point is salient, too, with the development of 5G technology specifically. I mean, you could argue, and this might be an interesting thesis, to what degree, if this merger were being proposed, you know, four, five, six years ago, if it would have faced the same hurdles. Because, I mean, 5G tech is this kind of weird front, as we've seen already with, with even Huawei, about, like, you want to make sure you know exactly who the players are in the space, and you would want more competition right. in that space, as opposed to one or two or three major players dominating the And it's the almost like triathlete. it's not feasible for them, or the case for them would be, okay, we can't do 5G unless we're together because you have to be of a certain size of course they're and gonna strength argue that, right. to do that. So, I mean, it'll be interesting to watch. We'll be paying attention for sure. Uh, you know, and a lot of these mega mergers that have seemingly been difficult to get through and you say, is it ever going to happen? But in the last year, a lot of them really did, or the last two years, you could say. I mean, AT&T, Time Warner, Disney and Fox, deals that we thought would be kind of too big to actually go through, and they've kind of sailed through in the end. Well, I guess uh, the difference is that there. those are content. I mean, I think with 5G, it's the utility. You worry if it's just one or two or three players. A triopoly, as you mentioned, that they will have too much pricing power with that brand new technology. Yeah, I think this will get there. But man, it's been an endless yeah, uh, watch. Slog. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.